Okay, let's go. All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, good evening, everybody. Good evening, uh, Ingrid, uh, Karina, everybody. I already mentioned some names, right? So good evening, and thank you so much for being on time. Once again, my name is Rene, and I will try to explain some exercises that we have, some topics that we need to develop together, all right? So, but first to the first, let me just uh, complete this, uh, this part over here. Give me one second. Let's see. And we're going to check our um, motivation part, right? So remember, we need to be motivated for anything you do in your life. Always needs to be a motivation, all right? So let's repeat, motivation. 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 But, you know, try to be, you know, like a, like a you feel it, all right? Like a you are smiling, all right? And you might say, Sneak for a circo. No, tampoco. But you need to be motivated in order to uh, believe yourself. I believe myself that I'm going to uh, get my car this year. All right. So this is one of my goals. What would be one of your goals, guys? If I ask uh, Armando, what would be your goal uh, from this year? One of the goals that you need uh, to complete this year? Tell me. Uh, sorry, teacher, repeat, please. Tell me what would be your goal? What would be your meta este año? What would be your goal this year? I mean, this rest of the year that we have, all right? We are on August, all right? So we have August, September, October, November, December. We have four months left. Yes, so I'm continuing my, my, stu my study. Um, studies. Studies. Um, learn some English and, and buy a car. Excellent. Very good. What about you, uh, Wilfredo? Uh, my goal is, is learn English. Learn to speak English. Very good. Excellent. <laughs> excellent. Excellent. What about you, Blanky? What would be your goal? Mm -hmm. I see, like this. What would be your goal? Uh, continue and uh, uh, talk. Remember, talk, uh, talk, talk. Uh -huh. speak in English. Mm -hmm. in, uh, 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 sacar a carrera veterinaria. And complete my career and complete my career my career about in bed. bed in bed very good very good yes in excellent bed. all right excellent what about you ingrid what is your goal what is your goal in life i mean this year anything i mean your family english classes you would like to get a car. You would like to get a better job. Uh, you will. You need your English because you are going to travel. All right, travel. You know, viajar. All right. What is your goal? Your goal, Ingrid. Ingrid. My goal is. My goal, this year. This year. Repeat. This year. Year. My goal this, this year, year will be will be will be and ahí me pone este lo que me tiene que poner, verdad? Will be all right. So will be learn more English, get a car, this buy a year, car. Right. Uh, will be to travel to a different country. All right. So remember, mm -hmm. we need to be motivated, guys. All right, and because without motivation, all right, so it's kind of like a boring, right? So it's como aburridito, like no tener una motivación. We need to be motivated, all right? So let's repeat one more time, motivation. Come on, let's go, everybody, motivation. 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 Excellent, motivation. excellent. Very good, very good. All right, so now uh, let me read this quote. All right, and then I will let you know what that means, right? Probably you already know. Mistakes are proof that you are trying. 
Mistakes are proof that you are trying. All right, let's repeat. Mistakes. 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 Are proof. Are proof. Proof. Are proof. That you are trying. That you, you are trying. trying. That you are trying. Trying. Repeat. Trying. 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 Very good. Trying. Er los errores son la prueba de que usted lo está intentando. Así que si usted comete un error hablando conmigo, mejor que se equivoque en este momento y no que se vaya a equivocar en una entrevista, ¿verdad? Que se vaya, se, se vaya o sea, que vaya a ser todo bien y por una palabra no me la vayan a aceptar, no me lo vayan a aceptar, ¿ok? So, entonces, mistakes, I remember. Mistakes are proof that you are trying. Every day we make mistakes. Every day, you know, even myself, when I'm talking, sometimes when I'm checking, you know, the videos, I I always say something that is not correct. I mean, it, it has meaning, but sometimes I need to explain in a little in a in a different in a different way. All right. So I always make mistakes. All right. So I'm a human being. So you are a human being and you need to be motivated. Acuérdese de que de los, de los errores es que uno aprende, ¿verdad? Sería, se, se dejaría de ser humano, sería, no sé, un ángel, no sé, ¿verdad? De que usted no, no, no comete errores, pero everybody makes mistakes. Mistakes are proof that you are trying. Why you are trying? To learn to speak English, right? Every day you will make mistakes, but what... Uh, is going to be a date or a day that you won't be making mistakes anymore. Or probably you will make mistakes, but not like the way that you're doing right now. Probablemente usted haga errores más adelante, pero no como lo que hace en este momento, porque usted está aprendiendo y usted es un bebé ahorita, ¿verdad? And you are learning. Very good. Let's go. Uh, let's check what we have here. We already check our mistake. I mean... Sorry, our our motivation part. All right. So, and let's see. Give me one second. Let me double check. Let me know if you are able to see what I'm checking at this moment. All right. So, let's see. We have knowledge check, and I believe we are. I was checking some um exercises. Uh, I don't know who who texted me last night. I don't remember. But it has a problem. I don't know if it is the, the system, but I was trying and trying. I don't remember what was the, 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 the topic or the exercises. No recuerdo cuáles fueron los ejercicios, pero no sé si usted pudiera, usted pudieron hacer el 5.9. No sé si ya lo terminaron. Porque fue es el, que me, el que me dio esta, esta alumna, me escribió si le podía ayudar. Y yo le dije, lastimosamente, no puedo, o sea, sí le, le voy a ayudar, pero hasta mañana, que soy, ¿verdad? Y lo quise hacer, pero I couldn't complete it. I don't know what happened with the platform. No sé si ya terminaron ustedes el 5.9. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Ok. Este, ¿Se recuerdan de cuál era el 5.9? Es de... Puedo y no puedo. Ajá, can't. El tema. Ajá. Can y can, can. Ajá, can and I can't. Can't. All right, so uh -huh. yo le ponía, solo me aceptaba los can, pero el can't, para nada, no sé. Lle lleva apóstrofe. Yo creo que, pero bueno, yo lo copié, fíjese, lo copié de, así, del, del ejemplo, porque mi computadora no me da, no, no me da la opción. No sé si es eso, pero igual. Hay un apóstrofe que queda como cruzado. Entonces, ah. no lo lee. Tiene que ser el que está recto. Ah, ok. Pues ese fue el error. Bueno. Anyways, uh, WH question. We already checked this topic. All right. Let's pass to our next uh, topic now. Uh, we already completed this, right? Yesterday. So, we are aware that we checked this uh, exercises. Lo completamos ayer, ¿verdad? Do you remember? Yes. We did. Si se recuerdan, yes or not? Yes? Okay. Yes. Very yes. good, very good, very good, very good. All right, and we check uh, adjectives, right? So we already know what adjectives uh, are, right? So 
if I ask you what adjectives uh, adjectives are or what an adjective is, who can tell me the answer? ¿Quién me puede decir la respuesta que es un adjetivo? No matter if you say it in, in Spanish or English, what would be the, the answer? What are adjectives uh, are? Eh, califica el subject, como que lo como describe una cualidad. Excellent, excellent. Very good, very good. It's like a, a yes, una, como una cualidad que tenemos nosotros, ¿verdad? Que como, como sujeto. Entonces, y el sujeto, usted ya sabe que es quién. Yo, tú, él, nosotros, vosotros, ellos, right? So, es el que califica al sujeto. Very good, Ingrid. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm going to play this video once again. All right. Yo sé que es un poco mm, no tedioso, ¿verdad? Es como like, no sé si lo entienden. La parte de las, de las fórmulas las entienden todos. Y si no entienden, levánteme la manita, ¿verdad? Y la vamos a explicar, ¿verdad? Acuérdese de que por eso le dejé yo los ejercicios. Los ejercicios ayer para que usted solamente... Uh, pusiera y quitara, ¿verdad? Como, como pegar y poner, ¿verdad? Sí, como copy and paste, all right? So, remember, you need to double check this and this example over here. Why? Y ya después, lo único que tiene que hacer acá es identificar cuál es el, el, el artículo o el, el A, el A o el N, la profesión. Acuérdese que la S significa poses, posesión, all right? El job, que es que es la palabra job, que es, supuestamente en este caso es el noun, el verb to be, que en este caso sería is, y de igual manera, acuérdense que podría ser am or, am or are, right? Porque el verb to be es is, am and are, correcto. Y el adjetivo, ¿verdad? Que es este. Solamente eso es lo que usted tiene que identificar para completar una oración de la cual aparecen aquí en el video, all right? So, I just want to make sure that you guys are getting you know the right um the right answers the right uh the right information in order to comprehend this topic verdad en manera de comprender este tema okay lo voy a poner nuevamente así que pongamos la atención después pasamos al siguiente tema please please share your work in our discussion forums tips particularly you will learn b plus adjectives particularly you will learn B plus adjective and noun plus adjective. Let's get started by listening to a conversation title. That's exciting. Let's listen and practice. Hey, Stephanie, I hear you have a new job. Yes, I'm teaching math at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are things with you? Not bad. I'm a firefighter now, you know. That's exciting. Yes, but it's a very stressful job. And sometimes it's dangerous. In essence, what we want to learn is... All right. Let me make a short, a short parenthesis, uh, parenthesis, guys. All right. So, cuando dice la señorita, that's exciting. What it comes to your mind that she's trying to say? ¿Qué es lo que está diciendo ella? ¿Qué le viene a su cabecita lo que ella quiere decirle al, al amigo? Que es emocionante. Emocionante. Sí. emocionante, ¿verdad? That's exciting. And remember, acuérdese que siempre en inglés tiene que usted respetar como lo hacemos nosotros en español, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, si yo le digo a María, le digo, María, ¿y usted comió esta noche? ¿Verdad que sueno como pregunta? Pero si le digo, María, ¿comiste hoy? María, usted comió, usted comió esta noche. ¿Verdad que se oye bien, bien rápido, sin sentido? Y... Pero entonces lo mismo es en inglés. All right. Tal vez ya lo sabía, pero solo se lo estoy como recapitulando. We need to respect punctuation rules like commas, uh, points. All right. So, question marks. All right. Tiene que sonar como la señorita estaba sonando, ¿verdad? Que le dice, oh, that's exciting. Y si usted se fija, los gringos siempre hablan así bien, como like, bien piquis, bien elegantes, bien bellos, ¿verdad? Que el, el inglés se les oye bien, 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 bien bonito. Entonces, así tiene que sonar usted. All right. So, I just let you know the information. Go ahead. How to express the same thing, but in different ways. 
first, let's analyze the examples on the left-hand side of this chart, B plus adjective. We can follow this formula to better understand this topic. Article, A or an, plus profession, plus apostrophe, plus job, plus verb to be, plus adjective. Now let's analyze the first example on the chart. A firefighter's job is dangerous. At the beginning of our sentence, we will typically use an article whenever we're talking about a singular job. So in this case, A, then we have profession plus apostrophe S, which expresses possessive, plus job. After that, we're going to add the verb to be, in this case is, is. Uh, finally, we put the adjective. Let's look at our next example. A doctor's job is stressful. At the beginning of our sentence, we have an article, in this case, A. Then we have profession plus apostrophe S, which expresses possessive, plus job. After that, we have the verb to be, is. Finally, we have the adjective. stressful. Now we want to express these same examples using adjective plus noun. We can follow this formula to better understand this topic. Article A or N plus profession plus has plus article A or N plus adjective plus noun. So let's make sense of the first example now. A firefighter has a dangerous job. At the beginning of our sentence, we will use the, an article, A, then we will have the profession, fire, fighter. After that, we add the verb has. Next, the article, A, then we will add the adjective, and finally we need to add the noun, which in this case is job. Now I would like to give you some adjectives which may describe different jobs, and then I would like for you to express your opinion about different jobs that we have learned so far. Let me read them for you. Boring, easy, dangerous exciting, difficult, stressful. So using the adjectives that I just gave you, I would like for you to describe different jobs. And I would like for you to express your ideas in different ways using B plus adjectives and adjective plus noun. For example, a lawyer's job is stressful. A lawyer has a stressful job. After you finish this activity, please share your work in our discussion forums. All right, guys. Uh, now, just to, uh, let me to ask you, is that clear? This topic is clear related to what, what the teacher just mentioned, guys? Tell me if you understood, understood this part. ¿Se entendió lo que él explicó? Si no lo entendió, yes. díganme y yo lo explico nuevamente. ¿Está claro? Yes, solo un yes, escuché. Mándeme un like, una manita de yes. like. Ent ¿Entendieron? Very good. All right, so, cuando yes, dice... Yeah. Very good. Cuando dice article, acuérdese que el artículo es A or an, all right? Or an, ok? Este es el, este es el, el artículo. Para que no se me equivoque, en este contexto no meta el, el N, right? Porque ese tiene otra, otra, otra definición, el cual si se le explico ahorita se me va a confundir. Solo póngale que este es el artículo, la letra A, A, all right? Profession, el bird, el bird has, en este caso para el adjetivo y, y, y noun, vamos a poner el, el verbo has y otra vez el artículo que sería A, el adjetivo y el noun. Para este contexto de adjetivo más noun. Para el contexto de be plus adjective, acuérdense que es 
article, profession, plus S, right? Que significa possession, el job, que es el job que se, del que se está refiriendo, el bird to be, que es is, y el adjetivo que es dangerous, ok? So, I just want to make sure that everything is, que todo está entendible. Very good. Excellent, guys. Pasemos al siguiente tema. Let's repeat a uh, knowledge check. Knowledge check. Knowledge check. Knowledge check. Knowledge check. Very good, very good. Okay, let's see. Um, volunteer, please. Any volunteer? Okay. All right, go ahead. Instructions. Write each sentence a different way. Follow the example. No period at the end of your sentence needed. Very good. Uh, let's see. Vamos a ver, acabo de ver aquí a alguien. Um, Aníbal, please be my guest. Go ahead. Solo una ayuda en algo. What the meaning? Period or period? Mm, period. Not period. Period. Okay. Yes. Write a sentence a different way. Uh, follow the example. No period uh, at the end of your sentence need. Thank you very much, Marisol. Be my guest. Thank you. Grad each sentence a different way. Follow the example in no period and end of your sentences need. All right. Very good. Thank you so much. Let's repeat. Period. 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 All right, period. Let's, very good. Let's repeat. Different. 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 Example. Different. Example. 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 Sentence. 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 Each. 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 Right. 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 Very good. Very good. Thank you so much. All right. So it says like, like this, it. right? Dice, uh, escriba la cada oración de las diferentes maneras posibles. Siga el ejemplo. No necesita colocar el punto final a su oración. Ya está colocado. Ok. A doctor's job is interesting. A doctor's, a doctor's has an interesting job. So, what would be the answer? A police officer has a dangerous job. Has. Solo has. Has uh, a dangerous. Has a dangerous a dangerous, dangerous. Yep. like this has a dangerous job all right all right a teacher job uh, is a stressful is necessary has a, a stressful dangerous. job has a stressful job right all right a plumber job has, is boring has a boring job boring job all right uh electrician an electrician electrician job is difficult has a difficult job has a difficult job difficult job very good oh. and a vendor's job is easy has a, a easy vendor job. has a job easy job a easy job all right easy job all right, I'm sorry, job. Like this? Yes. I mean, number five. And as an easy job, teacher, with mm. N. With N. Uh, Todas salen malas. Que <laughs> tiene que poner toda la oración completa. All right, all right. El, a police, a police a officer. Police officer. Has a longer A police job. officer. Officer has, all right, a teacher. Está mal escrita la palabra police. Okay, one second, sorry. Police. All right, like this. All right, a teacher. No, a teacher has. Okay, hold on. Ese has no va en todo. A teacher. Yes. A teacher 
job. Is a teachers or a teacher? A teacher. A teacher. All right. El job no teacher. El job lo lleva al final. A teacher's job has. No, a teacher. A teacher. Yes, study for job. A teacher. Right. Has, has, has okay. I stay for job. Um, all right, thank you, thank you. Very good. All right. A plumber. Has a boring job. Plumber, plumber. Has a boring job. Electrician. Dime, elect. No sé si le va a tirar error porque el has está como ahí. Ya vamos a ver, si no lo cambiamos, no se preocupe. A vendor. Number five is electrician has in. Teacher. Dígame. Electrician. A vendor has an. Has an. Has Has an. Has an. Ah, el artículo. Ah, le hace falta. En la cinta. Ahí te voy a tener problemas porque no, mi, mi computadora doesn't have a... Ok, vendor job, bla, bla, bla. Vamos a ver cuál, si las tiro otra vez buenas o malas. Let's go. Ok, police officer, a teacher. La número 3 tiene un espacio de más, por eso. dejado, creo, la H mayúscula, donde dice hat. No, está bien, solamente el espacio, creo yo. En la, en la Aquí. número 5 le falta la A. El en la 6 le ha agregado a. NT. As A, as. As. Dice el electrician. El as A. Y abajo. El number 6 es. As A. En electrician, right? Yo. Has an six. Has six. Has en, six. en el six. La última. Six. Ajá. Has six. La N, la. Number six. Has a vendor. Has, has, has an. Oh, okay, okay. Has an. All right. So now you're my teacher. It's very good. All right. Excellent. All right. So as you can see, guys. Okay. Ahorita le voy a explicar por qué el artículo aquí es a n. Para que ya lo tengan en, en mente, ¿verdad? Para la próxima. Porque comienza en vocal. Porque comienza en vocal. Very good. Very good. All right. So every time that another um, eh, uh, adjective started, starts with vocal, you need to start with N. All right. So si empieza con una, ¿cómo se llama? Con una P, una L. Que sería una, una consonante, usted empieza con A, ¿verdad? Entonces ya sabemos. Mira acá, a vendor has an easy job, all right? So, entonces empezó con A. Pero aquí como empezó con el electrician, all right? So, empieza con AN. An electrician has a difficult job. All right, let's repeat. A police officer. Police, a police, police officer. Police officer. A police... Yeah, just uh, let's repeat teacher. 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 Plumber. 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 Electrician. Plumber. Electrician. Electrician. And vendor. And vendor. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Right on my class. Let's see. Let's uh let's go and double check this lesson objective. And uh, this one belongs to the next class. All right, by the end of this class, you will develop prediction and inferencing, inferencing skills after reading and discussing an article on jobs profiles. All right, let's repeat, profiles. 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 Let's repeat, discussing. Discussing. All right, so inferencing. Okay, let's see, vamos a ver. Inferencing. Inferencing. It's a moment. Let's see. Let's have it. Okay. Okay. Give me one second. Vamos a verificar acá esta palabra. 
just to make sure, right? The right pronunciation, okay? So translator, translator. Let's see. So remember, if you don't, if you not, if you not um, quite sure what is the pronunciation of the word, so just come over here and go like this. Inferencing. 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 Let's repeat. Inferencing. 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 Excellent. Did you see? Excellent. Excellent. Very good. All right. So, al final de esta clase, ustedes desarrollarán habilidades de predicción e inferencia después de leer y discutir un artículo sobre perfiles de trabajo. All right. So, let's repeat. Develop. 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 Let's repeat. Prediction. 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 One more time. Prediction. 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 Excellent. All right. So let's pass to the next uh, topic. All right. Reading job profiles. All right. So what did that mean? Que dijimos que era reading uh, reading job uh, profiles. Perfiles de trabajo. Perfiles de trabajo. Y vamos a leer perfiles de trabajo, ¿verdad? Entonces vamos a leer que, quién es un maestro, quién es un ingeniero, un, un designer, un web, a website designer. Un police officer, ¿quién más? Un architect, un engineer, un electrician, etc., etc., etc. All right, so let's see. Okay, let's pay attention. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll develop prediction and inferencing skills after reading and discussing an article on job profiles. Reading job profiles. Lisa Parker has two jobs. She works as a waitress at night, but she's really an actress. During the day, she auditions for plays and television shows. Her schedule is difficult, and she's tired a lot. But she's following her dream. Lots of teenagers want John Blue's job. He plays video games for eight hours a day, and he gets paid for it. John is a video game tester for a big video game company. Is it ever boring? Never. John almost always wins. Becky Peck walks in the park every day for many hours, rain or shine. Becky is a professional dog walker. She walks dogs for other people. Sometimes she takes 20 dogs to the park at one time. Carlos Ruiz is a busy man. He plans lessons, grades homework, helps with after-school activities, and, of course, he teaches. His salary isn't great, but that's okay. His students like his class, so he's happy. He plans lessons, grades homework. All right, class. Um, if you see, as you can see, we are checking jobs uh, profiles, right? Or job profiles, okay? So we are talking about Lisa Parker, John Blue, uh, Becky Pick, Carlos Ruiz, all right? So we just double check that Lisa Parker has two jobs. She works as a waitress at night, but she's really an actress during the day. She's auditions for plays and television shows her schedule is difficult, and she is tired a lot, but she is following her dream. We are clear with this uh, job uh, job profile, uh, guys. Estamos claros con este perfil de trabajo que tiene Lisa Parker. Yes? Yes, yes. Or oh, tenemos... Yes. Very, very, very good, very good. So I believe we, under, uh, we understood everything, right? So we understood... Uh, the Becky Pig uh, walks in the park every day for many hours, rain or shine. Llueva o esté, esté soleado, Becky, it's a professional dog walker. Ella es una caminadora de perritos. She walks dogs for other people. Sometimes she takes 20 dogs to the park at one time. Imagínese llevarse, yo tengo, I have two, two pets and uh. I don't know what to do with two. Imagine this lady is taking away 20 dogs. 20 perritos al parque a caminar. Very good. 
Y tenemos acá a, a Jim Blue, right? So it's a lot of teenagers one Jim Blue jobs, right? He plays video games for eight hours a day and he gets paid for it. Imagínese, hay trabajo así, ¿verdad? Este, que usted le pagan por jugar. John is a video game uh, tester for a big video game company. O sea, la compañía lo hace a él que trabaje para que manipule los videos, ¿verdad? It's, uh, it is ever, uh, it is ever boring. Never John's almost always wins. All right. Casi nunca gana. Anyways. Okay. So tenemos a Carlos Ruiz. He's a, él es a busy man. He, he plans lesson grades, uh, homework helps uh, with after school activities and of course he teach his salary isn't great but that's okay his students like uh, like his class so he is happy verdad él prepara lecciones de de, de de trabajo para maestros él les enseña a sus alumnos sus alumnos están contentos con su clase y él por eso es feliz okay so we're clear with this give me one second and let's let's go. Do you have any questions, guys, so far? No questions. All right. So, all right. Let's see. Give me one second. Let me pass list right now. Let me start the recurring. And I'm gonna pass. I'm going to pass list at this moment. Okay. Let's see. Give me just a moment, please. Okay. Mm -hmm. Today is the 16, right? Mm. 16, Wednesday, 16. All right, so Adriana Madai. Uh, Ana Graciela Ramos Garcia. Present teacher. Thank you. Anderson Jeremy Molina. Thank you. Teacher, Thank you. Adriana mandó un mensaje en WhatsApp que dijo que estaba en clase en la universidad. Ok. Sí, pero en este caso, acuérdese de que eh, no soy yo, ¿verdad? No soy yo. Este, Tenemos que, si está o no está, pues, bueno. Y si, 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 no, si no está, bueno. Y si está, bueno. ¿Verdad? So, pero no, no, no soy yo, ¿verdad? Ese es parte del proceso, ¿ok? So, no me malinterprete tampoco, no quiero ser grosero. Perdón si me escuché grosero, ¿verdad? Pero no, no, no soy yo, ¿verdad? Si ella no está, pues lastimosamente le pongo falla. El que está, pues está, y el que no está, no está, ¿verdad? Entonces, Anderson Jeremy Molina. Present. Very good. Armando Antonio. Present teacher. Albanes Martínez, ok, thank you. Uh, Blanca Stephanie Vázquez Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Aníbal Martínez Ramos. I'm here. Thank you, sir. Este, Cecia Gemina Martínez Rivas. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, miss. Diana Patricia Carranza Paz. Diana Patricia Carranza Paz. Este, Elmer Alexander Ruiz Rodríguez. Present teacher. Okay. Elsie Gabriela Ramos Majano. Elsie Gabriela Ramos Majano. Floricia Mejibar Vigil. Present. Thank you, Miss. Griselda Raquel Estrada Landa Verde. Ingrid Esmeralda Cornejo Osorio. Present. Thank you, Miss. Isbel Araceli Beltrán Ayala. Jacqueline Janet Guzmán Bonilla. Present teacher. Thank you. Este, vamos a ver. Jaime Iván Ventura Castro. Yeah, here, teacher. Thank you, sir. Uh, Jocelyn Stephanie Bautista Zúñiga. I am here, teacher. Thank you, miss. Uh, Karina Yamilet González Pineda. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, miss. Uh, Carla Joana Martinez Platero. Carla Joana Martinez Platero. Kenny Guadalupe Hernández Godoy. María Wendy Guadalupe Rodríguez Cibrián. I'm here, teacher. Y voy a volver a mencionar Kenny Guadalupe Hernández Godoy. Okay. 
Present teacher. Ok, ok. Eh, María Wendy, ya me contestó. Mar eh, María Wendy Guadalupe Rodríguez, Cibrián, estamos, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok, thank you, miss. Uh, Marisol de Los Ángeles Cortés González. Present teacher. Thank you, miss. Uh, Maybelline, Liz Maybelline Lizette Ramírez Martínez. Present. Oh, okay, quizá. Very good, very good. Uh, Ronald Alexander Rodríguez Posada. Present teacher. Thank you. Ronald Vladimir Comayagua Maya. Y Wilfredo Alberto Canaca Rivas. Present teacher. Jen, thank you. Jenny Guadalupe Martínez Murcia. Present. Thank you, miss. Vamos a ver. Thank you very much. Let's see. Share. All right, guys. Uh, let's go ahead and answer this, right? Now let's check. All right, guys. Uh, what I'm going to do, I know that we already double checked this part, right? So, and you, you know, we are going to do this, um, I mean, this knowledge check uh, quickly, all right? So, read the article. Who do you think might say these things, all right? So, select the name. Lea el artículo. ¿Quién cree usted que puede decir estas cosas? Seleccione el nombre. All right. So, after I win, I take a break. Lisa, John, Blue. John Blue, John right? Blue. Yeah, blue. Okay, I don't usually work in the summer. Who said that? The restaurant closed late around 2 a.m. Lisa Parker. Thank you. After work, my feet and my arms are tired. Becky Becky There we go. Excellent. All right, so you're good. As you see, we, uh, we complete this part. Uh, faster okay let's go and listening part okay let's repeat listening 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 listening, listening. listening. very good listening all right so remember if i ask let's see if i ask uh, let's see jocelyn tell me the four skills that we already know which ones are for the skills Dígame los, los cuatro habilidades que tenemos que saber para poder hablar inglés. En inglés, of course. Si no se recuerda, no se preocupe, no se preocupe. All right, so any volunteer que le ayude ahí a Jocelyn. Uh, Reading. 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 Listening. 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 Speaking. And writing. Right. right on my class. All right, don't forget about it, Jocelyn. Write it down. Escríbamelos para que no se le olvide, ok? Very good. Reading, speaking, writing, and right. listening. listening, right? Very good. Listening. Okay, so let's play the first one. I don't know if it's going to work. Let's see. One second. Hold on, something's going on over here. Mmm, mira que lindo. Hold on one second. I don't know what's, what's going on. Just a moment. We are going to double check this part over here. Just a moment. One. I really love our new house, Dan. What's your new house like, Julia? It's my dream house. 
It has three bedrooms and two bathrooms. The bedrooms have big closets. Wow, three bedrooms. That sounds nice. Two. Yeah, I really love the house, but I need some furniture. What do you need? I need some things for the kitchen and the living room. What's in your living room now? Well, there are some chairs, but there isn't a sofa. Three. What do you need for the kitchen? Well, there's a refrigerator and a stove, but there's no microwave oven. Hmm. You know, I have a microwave oven, but I don't really use it. Do you want it? Yes, thanks. All right, my question now is, this one was the audio that we're supposed to be listening, guys? Is that the audio that we have to listen to? Yes. Yes, very good. Yes, yes. Excellent. Yes. Excellent. All right, so, all right, so, and so there are how many bedrooms? Three. Three, Three mm -hmm. right? So uh, there are Three. some chairs. There are some chairs in the dining room, living room, or kitchen? Living room. Julia. Okay, Julia needs a refrigerator, a stove, or microwave right. oven. Microwave. microwave oven. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Thank you so much. All right. So thank you so much for the help, too. All right. So, and we have here, uh, it says a complete conversation, right? So instruction, complete the conversation. Complete the conversation. Use the simple present of the verb. Select the opinion that contains the, the words to complete the question and the answer, right? So this uh, complete las conversaciones, use el presente simple de los verbos, seleccione la opción que contenga las palabras para completar la pregunta y la respuesta, okay? So let's see, give me one second. We have here, let's see, Jenny, please be my guest. Could you please uh, read that for me? Complete the conversation. Use the simple present of, of the verb. Select the option that contains the word to complete the question and answer. Excellent. Very good. Let's see. Um, Anderson, Jeremy, please. Uh, could you please help me with these instructions? Complete the conversation. Use the simple present or the verb selected of the tune that contains the words to complete the question and answer. Very good, very good. Thank you so much. All right, so let's see. All right, so complete las conversaciones. Use el presente simple de los verbos. Seleccione la opción que contenga las palabras para completar la pregunta y la respuesta. Okay, do you live alone? No, I don't. Okay, so does your apartment building have an elevator or has? That's right. That's right. All right, right. yes, yes, it is. All right, yes, it does. Yes, it do. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Excellent. Conversation two Does the bedroom have closet? Does the bedroom do have do have do have the bedroom? Okay. No, they don't. No, they doesn't. No, they do. No, they does. No, they don't. They doesn't. Don't. All right. Very good. Excellent. Right on. My class. Good job, guys. All right. I'm scramble sentences. Let's repeat. I'm scramble sent the sentences. And scramble 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 there isn't, how many we have? Oh, just three, okay? So there isn't. A mirror. Mirror. A mirror in the bedroom. In the bedroom. Isn't a mirror in 
the bedroom, the right? Bedroom. All right. So, no pictures. The hall there are in. There are, there are, there are, are, are no, no pictures. No, no picture. In the hall. In the hall. In the hall. In the hall. And there aren't any the curtains in any room. There aren't. There aren't. In the in the dining room. room. Dining room. Curtains in the yeah. dinner dining room, right? Dining room. Dining room. Thank you, guys. Uh oh, there are. No pictures. Oh. All right. There are no pictures. All right. What happened over here? Okay, there are. Okay, what happened over here? Yo creo que será el apóstrofe. Sí, no. sí, el apóstrofe es, eh, no, no, no detecta el ISEN de, de, la, de la pregunta y es diferente. Ajá, no. Sin abreviación. Tiene, no creo que lo puso con doble N. Aren't, mirror, there aren't. Curtains. Doble N la puse en Google. Ok. Okay, what about here? Mirror in the bedroom. Probe, probe con, con, con ese teacher. A ver si le da. Con cuál? El, el mensaje que le que puse. Oh, get a... Is it? Uh, 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 es la, es el, 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 el apóstrofe. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. Okay, select the correct words. Select the correct words. Select the correct word for each sentence. All right. Seleccione la palabra correcta para cada oración. All right. A nurse, a pilot, a salesperson works in a hospital. Nurse, nurse right? Nurse. All right. So a cook talks to people at the hotel, at the hotel, receptionist or singer. Receptionist. A judge, a musician, a police officer sits all day. A judge. Judge. Judge, right? Excellent. Very good. Good job, guys. All right. So, and let's see. Over here, select the question to complete the conversation. All right. So now um, let me go ahead and get you back to uh, breakout rooms. I'm going to send you to breakout rooms just to double check the previous topic, the one that, that we check or the que le dije yo que me hicieran unas oraciones. Quiero que comparta una oración con su compañero para ver si están en el mismo bote los, los compañeros, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver, 12, to participant. Ok, let's go ahead. Acéptame la invitación ahí, please. And we come back, all right, in a, in a, in a couple of minutes.
Karina, este, aceptando la invitación en el cuarto uno. Please. All right, let's wait for the rest of the the rest of the students. All right, they are coming. All right, so I'd like to send you to the breakout rooms just to double check, all right, that we are practicing, that we are remembering our topics that we've been checking so far. Me gusta mandarlo a los breakout rooms porque me gusta ver si se recuerdan de los temas que estamos hablando. All right, so congratulations, because I see here, you know, that you've been working pretty hard Han estado trabajando bien duro porque ustedes ya se las saben todas, ¿verdad? Hay en unas de que, bueno, en unas se recuerda de que la computadora no trabaja y en otras, pues, ustedes me dieron cátedra, ¿verdad? En la clase, en las respuestas, which is good. Algo que me gusta, pues, de que ustedes pongan atención dónde van a contestar, perdón, dónde van a ya, completar una oración como se debe, ¿verdad? Entonces, you are doing a good job, all right, so just keep it up, manténgase como está. ¿Verdad? Entonces, teacher, se escucha cortado, quizás mi señal está mal. So, ¿Se escucha cortado? ¿Todos me escuchan cortado o solo es uh, Karina? Mm, yo escucho bien. Ah, oh, pues solo ustedes, Karina. Escucha bien. Ok, entonces, por eso les digo, mis estimados, de que uh, as long as you are doing good, si usted sabe lo que está haciendo, le pido, le pido de favor... O sea, por su bien, ¿verdad? Por su bien, porque a mí me pasó muchas veces. Comenzaba y no terminaba las cosas que comenzaba, valga la redundancia. All right, so le pido de que le eche ganas, se motive por ese carrito, por ese trabajo que quiere, de obtenerlo a más tardar a, a principio del otro año. Ya solo faltan cuatro meses. Entonces, en cuatro meses creo que usted puede hacer muchas cosas, ¿ok? So if you practice, remember, practice, make the master. If you don't practice, if you stop, practice, 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 English, practice, practice, practice all the time. And believe me, in four months, lo quisiera, lo, lo, los quiero volver a ver, ¿verdad? En cuatro meses los quiero volver a ver and double check how you are basically doing, cómo la está haciendo, cómo le está dando con su inglés, all right? So remember, try to complete your platform. I guess you have until tomorrow. All right, to complete the exercises that you guys need to complete. All right, so acuérdense que you need to have 80%. All right, so el porcentaje es 80. In order, in order for English Corporativo give, uh, gives you, you know, the, the space that you are looking for, okay? En manera que le den su espacio. If you don't, if you don't complete, if we don't, if we don't complete the 80%, of our exercises, so no vamos a agarrar eso, ok, le mandé el link ese también ya tarde se los mandé este, si tienen tiempo pues ahora después de la clase lo pueden verificar, solo para ver de qué se trata, verdad está bien interesante y igual, este cualquier cosa pues acuérdense de que aquí estamos para servirle and remember to practice with your mirror, practice with your book and try to listen you know English music only, all right? So everything from now on is going to be English, all right? So I'm going to stop here. Thank you very much. And I will see you tomorrow. God's will, okay? Thank you so much for your time, guys. Take it easy. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Bye, teacher. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.